when you travel around a lot, you realize that no matter how pleasant a place may be, if it's not home, it's not home. That's the same with the mind. The mind really needs a home. You can think about all kinds of nice things, but you can't really stay there. There's no substance. And after a while, you begin to realize just how much effort it takes in order to keep those pleasant thoughts going. It's a lot easier to settle down. Just be with the breath. And there'll be a part of the mind that'll be kind of antsy and want to look at this and listen to that and say, not now, not now. This is the time for the mind to be itself, to be with itself on its own home base. Because that's where you really gather your strength. That's where you really draw your strength. So for the time being, just close all the windows and doors and settle down inside. And even as you get up from this spot, remind yourself that you have a house that can move around with you. This inner home. You can take it with you that as long as you stay in touch with the breath and keep the breath energy comfortable, you'll be fine. You've got a good solid foundation for dealing with whatever the world throws at you and whatever your own mind throws up in terms of greed, aversion, and delusion. So look after your home. When your home is in good shape, look after the breath. Make sure it's like cleaning out the house and arranging everything so it's really nice to stay. So sweep the breath of the body, let it clean out all the, the cobwebs of tension in the different parts of the body, all the way down to your toes. And then try to keep it clean as you go through the day. Any patterns of tension build up, as soon as you see them, just release them, release them, let them go. And that way you have a home wherever you go.